Yes! Wow! Oh my goodness, what a series of games. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's up guys? Before we jump into today's video, I just want to give you a quick heads up. We have got a brand new series coming out called It Is What It Is starting on February 8th at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to put that schedule up on screen for you right now. It's a really exciting series with my good friend and fellow YouTuber Country Fried where we are going to be building some jank decks in a semi-competitive historic format uh, just to have some fun and uh, hopefully build some fun stuff along the way. So please do mark your calendars. Check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun and go ahead and subscribe over with country fried as well so you can get all of the updates from both of us we will have updates on both channels so please do check all of that out now let's get into the video what is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video <coughs> excuse me Whew. Still getting over that sickness, guys. Anyway, uh, we are doing something special today, but before we jump into that, I just want to remind you, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, not only does it help us out, but of course you are entered to win our giveaway going on right now for a free Neon Dynasty booster box, winner of which will be picked on February 23rd. Uh, now, of course, you just saw we also have It Is What It Is coming up, which I'm very excited about, so please do mark your calendars for that as well. But let's talk about this. So. This is an is it treasure deck, uh, kind of built with the idea of maximizing culmination of studies, uh, which is an absolutely awesome card. One that I've never really played with because it's not necessarily uh, the ceiling is very high, I will say, but I don't actually think it uh, works out super well in the meta. But I wanted to see if we could make something happen here. So that's what we're trying to do today. Uh, culmination of studies, sorcery, X, blue, red, uh, exile the top X cards of your deck for each land card exiled this way, create a treasure token for each blue card exiled this way draw a card and then for each red card deals one damage to each opponent uh, so not only can this end the game immediately but it can also set you up and tool your hand as well as your field to basically play whatever you happen to draw uh, now, I'm not completely sold on it, but we are going to test that out. That's the goal. Uh, and to help with that, of course, we are looking at creating quite a lot of treasure tokens. Now, to do that, we've got things like Prismari Command that can spit out a treasure token. We've got Galazeth, which is going to keep those treasure tokens around without having to sacrifice them, uh, which is very, very good. We've got Unexpected Windfall here. Uh, to dig ourselves further into the deck, but then also, of course, create some treasure tokens as well. We do have Zorn, uh, which is a nice way to kind of get additional treasure tokens while you're creating these. Uh, Goldspan Dragon, of course, an absolute all-star and naturally just has to be in a deck like this. Uh, we do have Magma Opus. This is a card that we can spend to discard it to create a treasure token, but also if we just happen to draw it later on in the game, we can actually play it for a pretty big uh, swing in the game. Uh, we can create a 4-4 tap a couple permanents and then deal four damage and draw two cards so lots to do there uh, we do have a seagate restoration in in the deck as well just to kind of forward our uh, game plan if we happen to get quite a lot of uh, treasure tokens that we can keep around with things like galazeth or just ramp with the goldspan dragon we can really get that off early and then refill our hand hopefully deal with whatever we need to uh, now, in the removal package, we don't have a ton, but we do have enough here. Uh, we've got Spike Field Hazard as just a one drop. Obviously, there's a lot of aggro decks out there. Having this available to us is just a nice way to do it. We also can just throw it out as a land, of course. Uh, we do have Cinderclasm as well, which can deal with a lot more of the like two power creatures. You'll notice in our deck, while Zorn is in here, that's really about it. Uh, in terms of low ground creatures uh, and so normally this isn't going to hit anything on our side it's also an instant speed option and we can kind of flexibly say we want to deal one damage or we want to deal two to everything which is kind of nice uh, now we also have dragon's fire of course we are running with the prismari and goldspan dragon this is a very good way to kind of deal a lot of damage with two mana uh, we do have to reveal the dragon from our hand of course but otherwise even if we don't we still get three damage off which is pretty good uh, and so all of that to say that is the majority of the deck. Now we do have Hall of the Storm Giants, Den of the Bugbear, and then two Field of Ruin as well in the lands, but overall, 
that's it. It's a pretty straightforward deck, but hopefully one that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and again, it is a bit janky. It is a bit silly. This is my own creation, but the idea is to hopefully get off one, at least one big culmination of studies. So let's jump right into the games, guys. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys. And here we are for game number one. And yeah, I mean, this is a, a relatively easy keep. We don't have any blue mana quite yet, but we've got quite a bit of red. Uh, and of course, that Zorn later on is going to hopefully help us drop a couple couple of extra treasure tokens and worst case scenario of course we've got the unexpected windfall so I think we'll lead on this uh, we've got that spike field hazard for turn one as well which is just perfect uh, now we'll see what the opponent ends up playing here uh, any kind of aggro deck we're actually okay against uh, especially drawing that uh, we're now doubled up against aggro decks we can actually deal four damage to anything if we need to so we'll see how this goes uh, looks like Simic perhaps uh, kind of curious to see what they end up playing, but uh, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, perfect. OK, that's fantastic. We can go ahead and just spike field hazard that and get it off the field. This is going to hopefully be a really easy way to control the early part of the game. And uh, again, that dragon's fire really going to help us out as well. Um, so we'll see what they actually follow that up with. Curious. I, normally, you don't see Needlethorn Drake, so I'm very curious to see what this ends up being. This uh, this deck here, it might just be kind of a fight off deck. Uh, that Death Touch being able to deal damage to something with Death Touch, uh, you know, a fight spell that says, "Hey, this creature deals X damage or its power to whatever." Uh, the fact that that creature deals the damage, that Death Touch really comes in handy. Uh, so very cool. All right, we're gonna continue playing some lands. Um, do we go ahead and play the Zorn? I'm gonna go for it here. Uh, on the off chance that we get to throw that unexpected windfall out this upcoming turn, that really is a big help for us. And so I'd like to get uh, an extra treasure token if we can. Just think, I mean, this ramps us up into uh, three treasure tokens off of the unexpected uh, windfall. And even if this does die, we still get two treasure tokens. That's gonna get us that Prismari out. Um, as well as some other things, so we'll see. Okay. Fascinating. Um, so I think what we do uh, is first and foremost, we're just going to do this. I'm going to decline. We're going to throw three damage at this and just see what happens. I'm OK to kind of slow the game down here again. We're the late game decks, so if we just get rid of all of their creatures, we're actually in OK shape. That's perfect. Uh, I will all too happily double up on this. I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, they have three cards left in hand, uh, so I'm curious to see what those happen to be, but I think that that's a, an okay thing to fight over. And if we happen to just draw like a land or something, we might just go ahead and unexpected windfall just to get rid of uh, that land and dr draw a little bit further into the deck. <clears throat> Now, I would love to have another burn spell here, so maybe it wasn't correct to fight over, but I think it was okay. Uh, you know what, here, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, let's go ahead and play that Goldspan Dragon out, and we can actually just get an attack in here. Um, can actually, uh, I'm gonna save the Zorn. All right, divide by zero. Unfortunately, that is technically not a legal card anymore, but uh, we are pre-recording this. So just something to think about if, if you happen to play this deck, that is a card that you will not see, uh, but that's okay. Um, I like to pre-record a little bit and sometimes that has its downfall, <laughs> uh, but that is fine. Um, I still think we're gonna be in okay shape here. Uh, I am going to attack in here. There's really no reason not to. We did get the extra treasure tokens here, uh, thanks to that Zorn. So we're actually in okay shape regardless. <laughs> if they want to blow up the Zorn with this, that's kind of fine. It doesn't really matter because um, like we've kind of got our fill of, of treasure tokens at this point. Uh, I mean, anything's going to be helpful, of course, but. All right. So uh, let's do this. Let's fight this first. Let's see if they actually, if this happens to be a counter, that's OK. Looks like it is not, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this. My, my guess is that they're going to counter this, uh, which again is actually OK. If they happen to counter this, it's not that big of a deal. Sure. 
Um, I mean, that's annoying, but we're still able to get in for some, some damage here. They do have the introduction to Annihilation, sure, but we're going to draw a card off of that. We've actually got some great follow-up plays anyway, so I'm kind of okay with it. Okay, sure. Uh, that's fine. That's not really all that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and play that Prismari. Now again, fully expect this to uh, just get annihilated at some point here, but that is fine. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. I'm curious to see what this deck is actually meant to do, because I'm really not getting it. Uh, I'm going to offer the trade here. I don't know what they might have, but I don't particularly want to lose to uh, like them having some power up stuff on this creature or anything like that. They may have to take the turn just to kill the Prismari here. Uh, we also, oh, okay. We do have the Den of the Bugbear here that we can start attacking with as well. So uh, just some things to think about. Um, cool. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and do this now. Uh, we'll sub just discard the land there. Ooh, Magma Opus. Uh, all right, so five, six, seven. So we're not quite there. Uh, we can use this to get a couple extra, but I actually don't think we need to. I think we can just kind of attack in here. This does not have reach. Uh, so we'll just attack for three. And then next turn, we just kind of attack and have Magma Opus up or, you know, whatever. Um, we might be okay here. Uh, we also, like I said, do have the Den of the Bugbear, which can attack in. Uh, and all we really need to do is get an extra point of damage off, so that's kind of an easy one to do. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, okay, yeah. All of this is fine. I'm not really worried about it. Oh, and they are not going to attack. Okay, perfect. Wow, Seagate Restoration. Um... Let's see, this is gonna create two, so seven, eight, nine. So we can do this and get uh, a Magma Opus off. We could actually just, I guess, do this. Hmm. Uh, that's not that useful here, I don't think. So let's do this. Um, and we'll just submit one. We'll tap you and you. Doesn't really matter. And then, uh, yeah. I mean, next turn, we just kind of win. <laughs> uh, we actually draw two cards off of this as well, which is great. Now, we could have, I guess, instant speed done that, but it really, I, I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, all right. Cool. Looks like our opponent might be good gaming us here for the win. Uh, I think we've got it, but we'll we'll play it out just to be safe. I don't want to, I don't want to just say we won. That's not really fair, is it? <laughs> yep. Uh, again, divide by zero, not going to be in the meta when you play this deck, if you happen to play this deck, so just keep that in mind. But so far, I think, uh, again, we just get to Magma Opus for the win, or even just Prismari Command, truthfully. <laughs> we just have to deal two damage here. Cool. Yeah, I, uh, I really like this deck, actually. I think this is kind of solid. It's a base... It's a baseline control treasure list, um, but that culmination of studies is kind of a cool include, I think. Um, yeah, we're just gonna... Just gonna do this. Do we win? <laughs> Hopefully they don't have a two mana counter. Oh, they do. Oh, a three mana counter. That's fine. Uh, we get to Magma Opus. <laughs> we'll just deal it there. Uh, we'll tap these two, doesn't matter, and there we go. All right, we got a win with this deck. Heck yeah, we didn't get to see Culmination of Studies yet, but hopefully we will in the next game. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And yeah, I mean, this is, again, a pretty easy keep. We've got plenty of burn in the opening hand here. If we get an extra land or two, we've got Galazeth. And then, of course, that Culmination of Studies is in hand. So I'm kind of excited to see if we can get that going. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely like this. Gets a lead with that Spike Field Hazard up, which is fantastic. 
and it looks like it's going to come in handy. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to take the opportunity and just kill that right away. Uh, against a goblin stack, these dragon fires as well, probably very helpful. The hobgoblin has three toughness. There's a lot of, of goblins that uh, we hopefully can kill with these. Uh, and I am going to be overly aggressive and kill as much as we can. Um, just to keep us in this game here. We'll go ahead and play the Den of the Bugbear. We don't have to play anything this turn. We can just wait with that Dragonfire and we're good to go. Uh, very excited to see how this plays out, actually. Uh, okay. They are stuck on land. Oh, interesting. Very good. I like that they're stuck on land. <laughs> uh, we'll do this. We'll play out Galazeth here. And next turn, we actually do just have the, the culmination of studies if we would like it. Uh, now, this is obviously a very strong blocker as well, so they obviously do have a lot of goblins in their deck, but four toughness is a little bit trickier for them to get through. Uh, and so hopefully we'd be able to uh, push through a little bit here. OK, they did have a third land, uh, but that's not enough. Uh, oh, that's very good. OK, so what we're actually going to do here is uh, deal two damage and create a treasure token. We're gonna do this and this. Perfect. Uh, and I will go ahead and attack in here. Um, not terribly worried about them dealing a crazy amount of damage in a single turn. Uh, at this point, we've dealt with most of what they could have. Uh, certainly they've got other things, but we've definitely kind of pushed through a good bit here. Now the question actually becomes, do we want a culmination of studies or Den of the Bugbear? I am going to Culmination of Studies. That's kind of why we're here, so I want to do that. I actually think Dead of the Bugbear might have been the better play, quote unquote, just because um, it actually really... Uh, uh, do we save that? No, we go ahead and play it. Uh, solely because um, it spits out an extra creature token, which every blocker is going to count against a goblin stack. That's just something that you should always be aware of. Uh, and so it is very helpful to have those, but... I think we'll be okay here. All right. Uh, yeah, so again, we actually just get to deal two damage. Do we want to create a treasure token or draw two cards, discard two cards? Um, I think we'll create the treasure token. We've got the unexpected windfall here. Uh, and so at some point we'll be able to do that. But uh, let's actually do this. If they want to double block and kill this, that's kind of OK. I don't really care that much, but we're going to pressure them as much as we can here. And it looks like they're just going to take it. Fine by me. Um, they could have Hobgoblin here. They could have looks like another Bombardment, which is certainly a good card because they are going to be dealing quite a bit of damage this turn. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, and it looks like that's the case. Let's go ahead and Unexpected Windfall here just to see. Uh, do get a couple extra treasure tokens. Oh, wow, that's so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, this deck is well suited, it seems, uh, against this. So very, very happy to see that. We'll just attack in here. Perfect. And there we go, a nice clean win uh, against goblins there with the backup Cinderclasm as well. Man, we're two for two. Let's see if we can keep going, guys. All right, guys, here we are for our third game, probably our last game uh, as well. And this is a bit of a trickier hand. Obviously, we don't have a second red source that we can just throw this out on, uh, but we do have some good stuff. I'm actually going to mulligan, though. I think that's probably the right play. Uh, this is a slightly better hand, in my opinion. We have a little bit more we can do. I'm going to drop this out. Uh, and I think we just lead with the coast. Uh, now, if they happen to play a turn one spell, the great thing is we get to leave this up, but obviously they did not. That's fine. Uh, we'll just wait. Um, we had two culminate, like the multiple culminations are not necessarily great together because we're looking to play those late game. And so I'm glad we mulliganed here. I think this is a much stronger hand. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw the second red source out and we'll just pass. We'll see what they do. Uh, fully expect that this is going to be a much more challenging matchup than we have seen uh, previously just because of the color combination, if nothing else. Uh, this is going to have more counters, more interesting stuff going on here. So we'll see how this goes. Um, now, do we want to go for this? Uh, I'm going to wait. I'm not in a rush. Uh, I think this spike field hazard, we can definitely go ahead and run out now. It's not really going to be useful at this point, so we'll see what happens. 
Opponent not doing much either, so very curious. I think at the end of this turn, we definitely go for the Prismari command, most likely. Looks like they do have counter spells in the list. Again, divide by zero may be a thing here, guys, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, we'll draw two and discard two and then, of course, create a treasure. If they happen to counter this, that's fine. Don't want them to, obviously, but yep. And it looks like they do. That's fine. Jawari Disruption doing its thing. Let's go ahead and Goldspan Dragon. Hopefully they don't have a major thing that they can do. Uh, but yeah, looks like it sticks. So chances are they'll have a way to get get rid of this this upcoming turn. But the, the damage has kind of been done in the sense that we've gotten our treasure token here. We did get an attack in. So we do have some uh, some benefits here already. And uh, if they do target this, of course, we do get a follow up treasure token. So we'll see. Uh, we also just have that culmination of studies next turn if we'd like it, and that can certainly do a lot here, so... Alright. My assumption is this is a counter, uh, so what we're gonna do first is just attack. No reason not to. If they want to do something about this, now is the time. Uh, and so I fully expect that if they would, they c or if they could, they would here. Um, and I think we want to hold that that uh, culmination of study. So I'm going to go for the Galazeth here. Uh, we've got technically five mana available to us at the moment, so it can't just be a Jwari disruption or anything like that, which is good. And now we still get to leave up the dragon fires as well as honestly just Field of Ruin. Not that we really need it, you know, but it is an option for us. All right, I have high hopes. Um, very curious to see how this goes. They had three Jawari disruptions in their starting part of their turn. That's kind of interesting. All right, so they're gonna copy a spell here. It looks like it's probably gonna be a burn spell. And it is, okay. Uh, sure. Annoying, definitely, but we now have a follow-up culmination of studies for quite a bit and they can't do anything about it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll hit it for six. Easy enough. Uh, really love that as a follow-up play. Wow, we got a lot of treasure tokens. Um, and I guess we'll just pass here. We can leave this up. Uh, we can do it at the end of their turn if we'd like. We'll, we'll figure out a best play there. Uh, I do think it might be beneficial to go ahead and unexpected windfall, though. We need to get further into the deck to get something that can finish this off, you know? Uh, we do have to sacrifice all of our treasure to do it, which is a bit frustrating, but we'll figure it out. Uh, it's also quite a big hit if they counter this, which is kind of annoying, but we'll see. Okay, probably a saw it coming, right? Um, or I guess technically, again, this could be an all runs epiphany. I just want to lay that out there. This is prior to the uh, the banning being implemented. So just something to keep in mind there. Wow, we just got more dragon fires. Uh, okay. So we do have enough to just go for this, which I think is the right play. Uh, submit one. Doesn't matter what we tap here and yeah, we'll just auto pay. Uh, hopefully we can draw something. Oh, looks like just lands. Well, we do have a threat at the very least, which is helpful because this is just the two turn clock on its own. Chances are they've got an all Ron's epiphany or some kind of big spell this turn, though. So it is going to be a little tricky, uh, but it is what it is. Ah, burn down the house. OK, reasonable, very reasonable. And behold the multiverse. OK, fair enough. Uh, now, crucially, they are kind of just tapping out every turn here, which is really important for us to uh, keep in mind. We've got the Den of the Bugbear here. That's very useful. Um, I am going to preemptively do this while they don't have anything uh, to, to counter. So let's do this. We then discard two cards. We'll discard those. That's fine. Uh, and we do have that Magma Opus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight in hand and so if they tap out this upcoming turn we can just win uh but we'll see we will see if they're smart they don't <laughs> uh yes perfect they do gain a life i forgot about that that was my fault uh let's do this um 
I'm gonna try and just do it with the den of the bugbear here. This may not work uh, 100%, but I think we gotta try. They could just have another cinderclasm, which is gonna take this out, uh, but I think it's kind of worth it. Okay, just shock. Uh, yeah. That's fine. I think we kind of needed to go that route though. Uh, the reason being, they they obviously just have a counter. Like there's no doubt I think that they have a counter. So I'm kind of waiting for them to do something big so we can just drop this uh, Magma Opus here. I guess we could have just waited till the end of the turn. Maybe that's better. Magma Opus is an instant speed spell. Uh, and so it is something we can just drop at any time, which is very good. We do have the follow up land though that we could just play at the upcoming turn. So we'll, we'll see. They still have to deal 20 damage to us, so at the very least we have that going for us, but here this would have been like prime time to try and uh, burn them out there. I guess they would have been down to one, but you know, we'll see. Uh, looks like the opponent's happy to pass. Uh, fantastic. All right. Well, uh, I mean, I think the play is passed then, right? And we leave this up. I think that's just the play. Uh, curious to see how this ends. This is kind of an interesting one. I think we'll try for the gold span dragon, most likely burning a counter. Uh, wow, okay, maybe not. Maybe a burn spell. Maybe they double up on a shock or something. Uh, that could certainly be the case. Um, divide by zero, yeah. Again, not something we would normally see at this point. Uh, let's do this. We'll add two red. So the reason we do that is because then we can replay this immediately. Uh, wait, can we not? Did I miss that? Huh. I thought we could... Interesting. I, I thought we would have had enough to, to just replay this. Is that not the case? Did I mess that up? I may have messed that up. That might be my fault. It's all good, though. Um, all right. Well, opponent gaining some life back, which is slowly slipping this game away from us, which is definitely a problem. Now, they didn't just finish off the uh, gold span dragon, which is interesting. They also didn't just counter it, but I'm going to go for it here again. It does stick. Let's see if they just get to bounce it again. Uh, I'm sure they do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, tch, tch. Do we have anything we can do about this? I don't think so. All right. Well, we pass. Uh, again, we do have some big spells in the deck. So at this point, it's just kind of a game of attrition and hoping we don't uh, fizzle out before they do. We still are leaving up that magma opus at some point, um, but I'm trying to trying to get it at an opportune time here. Um, and I'm still not convinced they don't have a counter, to be honest. Divide by zero is a great option for them because it also gives them another card. So they may have chosen to do that over countering. Uh, and then, of course, the the bolt just straight kills it. Uh, and so that's certainly not a bad option. We do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite enough. Uh, you know what? We just have to go for it, I think. Uh, submit one. We'll tap this. They've got so much mana available, though. At this point, there's no way in the world they don't have a counter. Um, they may activate this. Wow, they did not have a counter. I am amazed. Uh, that made no sense to me, but cool. Uh, all right, well, again, threatening lethal, but they have a, a grip full of cards that we are not aware of, so they could very easily just have another demon bolt or something like that. Now, we did get the Hall of the Storm Giants down, which is useful. Uh, okay, yeah. This is a way to finish off the game, so we'll see if that actually works for us. Um, Alternatively, we do just have, you know, unexpected windfall that we can play out just to get further into the deck here. But, uh, man, very interesting game. Ooh, that's quite good as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we do have enough to do both here. All right, so let's do this. 
We're gonna deal to. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna draw to and destroy target artifact. Attempt to. We're gonna try and kill this Celestis. Uh, that's their life gain, and so I'd like to shut them off of that. If they have a counter, they probably play it here. Uh, okay, it's divide by zero. Again, really annoying that divide by zero is still here, but oh, they're just divide by zero on the Celestis. Oh, that's clever. We still do get to draw two cards, though. Um, I think we drop this and this. They're not very helpful for us at the moment. Um, we'll drop you. All right, let's try and go for this. They did not get anything from their sideboard with that divide by zero either, did they? Um, all right, let's just hope they can't kill this. <laughs> uh, do we have it? Please let us have it. Please let us have it. If we get it, it's undefeated. Good game. Yes! Wow. Oh my goodness, what a series of games. Okay, my goodness, guys, that was fascinating. Uh, let's talk about this. All right, guys, so we go undefeated with this uh, is it little culmination of studies deck. That was awesome. Uh, really, really good. I actually really enjoyed culmination of studies, even if you don't get like a massive one off. Like I think we got one for five and one for six. That's still good enough to really reset your hand, get you kind of back to where you need to be. Uh, and of course, ramp you into something a little bit bigger. Uh, I think this deck works pretty well. Uh, it's got a lot of little removal pieces as well, which I think is very beneficial, especially on the best of one ladder where you know you're going to be running into quite a number of, you know, little aggro decks, things like that. We saw it very handily defeat goblins, uh, which I think is a big tell that, hey, this does have the options for that. So very, very good. Very happy with this deck. And man, undefeated with my own list. I'm so happy. Uh, that very rarely happens. I'm not that great of a deck builder. But all that to say, this was a really fun one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are not already, of course. That really does mean a lot to us. And uh, it really does uh, not only help, but of course, enter you in for that giveaway as well. So please check that out. But thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos.